Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on the channel now today. Today I'm going to be bringing you a Q&A. There's seven questions I've got up here um, that I'm going to be answering. Let's go for 40 likes on today's video. Make sure to press the subscribe button. Let's get into the first question. Also as well, ignore my hair. It's absolutely boiling outside and I've just got in from school. That's why it looks a bit, a bit weird and all over the place. Question number one. Where do you see Wrexham FC finishing this season in the National League? I genuinely think we can push for top three. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep realistic here. Top three, uh, Chesterfield I think will be around there, Stockport might. But yeah, Wrexham top three, a good start to the season. Picked up some solid points against some tough opposition teams to play against. Yeah, woke on Saturday, we do need a win from this one. Um, so yeah, top three is where I can see Wrexham finishing this season. To be precise, probably second or third. Yeah, good start under Phil Parkinson. Question number two. Most underrated Wrexham signing of this transfer window. Now, I am going to go for David Jones. We signed him, the free agent, 36-year-old. And to be fair, I was impressed um, for, with his first game for the club against Solihull Moors. Obviously, played very well in midfield, scored an absolute scorcher of a goal. Yeah, I can see, I think he's an, one of our most underrated signings. Obviously, with his Premier League experience, 36 years of age, he will be a very good player to have in and around the club. Just to encourage everyone, he's got a good mindset of how the game works. And to have him at this level, I think, is very, very good. So David Jones is the most underrated signing. Question three. Will you vlog Wrexham games this season? This is an interesting one. I am hoping to, yes. Now, I'm hoping to do one for Woking on Saturday. So keep an eye out for that one. My first game at the racecourse ground since March 2020. But yeah, to answer your question, um, I'm hopefully going to be doing Wrexham vlogs, whether they're at the racecourse or at an away ground. I really want to have that courage to get and film out the fans and just document this journey this season. It would be incredible. So yeah, hopefully I'll be able to be vlogging some Wrexham games. The answer to your question is probably... 80% yes, 20% no. It's just whether I have the, the courage and the guts to go out and film whilst at the game. Question four. How many subscribers or subscriber target by the end of the National League season? I said it on the live stream and I, I think I'll keep with the same target. It is 3,000. Obviously, the growth this channel has seen in the past two or three months is incredible and I mean incredible we're racking up nearly 1200 plus views every video and the subscribers have only just gone up we've passed 2000 and we're only continue to grow so yeah my target is 3000 by next May it's a huge shout we need 900 more I reckon we can do it make sure you subscribe with channel notifications on if you haven't already yeah 3000 is the target and then if that doesn't happen, 2,750. But I really do believe we have the there's the possibility that we could hit 3K. Question five. Favourite ever Premier League player? Like if I'm going on plays I've seen in my lifetime since I've been watching football since 2012. It's not one player. It's a duo up front. It has to be the Suarez and Sturridge combination in the 13-14 season for Liverpool. How they didn't win the league in that season, I will never know. They were banging goals in for fun. Two incredible strikers. It's just a shame Sturridge sort of dropped off after that season when Suarez left. Because if they'd have continued to work together and form that relationship the season after, they could have gone out and won the league. Um, so yeah, Suarez and Sturridge. But you asked, favourite ever Prem player? My most favourite one... It's got to be the Croydon Messi, Emile Smith row. I just think he's an incredible talent at Arsenal and I think he will go on to do absolute wonders, not just for Arsenal, for England. If he doesn't get the call up for the uh, World Cup squad next year, then uh, I don't know. Yeah, Smith row, my favourite current player in the Premier League. Right, here we go. How much money do I make off of YouTube videos? 
Let me go and sign into YouTube Studio and I will come back and have a look. Right, so I've got the analytics up here. So I uh, started getting paid off of YouTube on the 26th of August 2021. So just under two weeks ago or maybe more than two weeks. Um, yeah, this is it. I have made in that period of time £29.76. Not bad. I, yeah, I, I'll take £29, nearly £30. Obviously, that's only in like two weeks. So I'm, I'm intrigued to see what I can make in a year. Uh, so yeah, August, we made £22.4p and that was only in the space of like six, seven days. September so far, uh, it's been a week in and I've made £7.72. If we go on to um, what each video has made, I have put adverts on uh, just five of my videos from the start. So if I put them from the start, they'll make the full earnings of what they made. Um, yeah, let, so the Ben Tozer one, the first day of getting monetized, made me £5.33. Callum Guy to Wrexham and Ryan Reynolds um, to be at the ground for the Notts County game made me £3.58. Uh, £3 uh, the Wrexham v Notts video made me £3.49. And the South End video made me £3.44. And the Eastley game made me £2.37. Obviously, we have had channel members. So we have made around £20 off of channel members. So, no, we haven't. What am I on about? I'm going to stop waffling now. The CPM, which is cost per meal, I think. Uh, that's cost per 1,000 views. Mine is £3.77, so for every thousand views, I do make three... Why are they screaming? So yeah, I do make £3.77 per thousand views. I'm new to all this analytics stuff. Um, I might do one of these in a month's time to see what's changed. So yeah, this month, well, around just under two weeks, I've made £29.76p. Last question. Football team I hate the most, there should only be one answer for this one. It is Chester FC. Yeah, that's it. As simple as that. So yes, guys, if you did enjoy, make sure to drop a like on today's video. Drop a comment down below just saying hello or where you're from. And yes, hit the subscribe button, turn the notification bell on. And yeah, hopefully this video does well and I can maybe dive into the analytics of what this made. Not that it will make thousands of pounds, but yeah. See you guys in another video. Take care.